What's up? This is Naked Eli bringing you a tutorial for Oni Sword Base on Legendary All Skulls On. This is an incredibly difficult mission. Lots of elites which are like demigods, right, with their super overpowered shields. So assassination is the way to go on this guy. I'm going to explain all the little tips and tricks in here. They work on any difficulty pretty much, but this difficulty is the hardest. So throw a grenade right there at that pack of enemies that will cause them to freak out or die. Throw a grenade there, they do sort of synchronized swimming. And here you can just sort of sprint past those skirmishers. If you're really, really weak, you could hide behind the barricade and wait for your sprint to come back and then sprint to that target designator and back because those plaza pistols can actually light you up so fast with their rate of fire. So that target designator now is going to clean up the courtyard. All those little grunts and jackals that we had to worry about? Nope, <laughs> not anymore. And there's a few stragglers, of course, uh, but these elites are the biggest problem on this difficulty, right? Uh, the hunters as well, which I'll get into later. But right now, we're just trying to pick off everything in the courtyard so we can get to the next part of the mission. So I took out all the jackals. Now we got two elites up here. Pick up this health pack just so that we can uh, bum rush them, and if we get hit, we won't die. And I'm coming up here, and look at them, they're like trying to gangbang cat. So I was like, oh, I go to smack the other guy in the back, miss him, hit the concussion rifle, take him down, check this out, run in circles around this guy, he's like, where'd he go? Boom! Ninja, baby! <laughs> check it out, this ordinance is on the ground, and it's pretty cool that the ordinance lettering is actually on the weapon, not just on the crate where you pick it up. I didn't really know that before I started practicing for this speedrun. So right here, there's a couple of wraiths in the courtyard, and they want us to engage them, take them out, and use the target designator up, but I'm like, no way, buddy. I got more important things to worry about. So I'm going to head over to the right. You'll see why I'm going in this direction. Uh, meanwhile, your marines are all going to die because that's just how it works in Halo games. The marines are not supposed to live. I'd never want to serve next to a Spartan. So right here, there's three grunts to the right. Don't worry about them. Just keep on running. They never attack you. Check this out. Ay ay ay! My ghost! <laughs> and boarded him. Look at that. I'm like inside of him. That sounded kind of weird. Sorry. And now I'm going to ghost to this first outpost. We have a button to hit uh, next to that general up top. So in one of my other speedruns... Um, earlier when I had blind skull on because for challenge tutorials you don't have to have blind on so this is all 12 minus that and we're just picking off the grunts because I don't want to use up my last target designator trick since in my other speed run I didn't use it in the courtyard and that of course took a lot longer right here if you kill all of these grunts then the elites inside go bonkers they freak out and they run at you so check this out just gonna run out there and doink doink <laughs> and they're both down plant right under the nose of this general he can't hit you and then you just hit the button from the outside you don't have to run all the way up and just sort of jump and hold down the button mid-air and if you're close enough then you'll hit it and you can head out of there when you hear the gun start to shoot so right now there's a couple of ghosts down here not gonna worry about killing them just sort of run past them go 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 pretty weak and then I got another ghost and I got a Freaking spirit dropship, go, 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 dropping elites. I am not gonna fight them, no way. So here we are at the second outpost, and uh, there's a button inside, but am I gonna go inside to press it? No, because that's for noobs. <laughs> press the button from the outside, head on over, go past the revenant, past all these elites, go, 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 hold down the right bumper, just fly up to that essentially. We wanna hide behind that rock, you'll see why in just a few seconds. Heading up here, there's a couple skirmishers across the way, but they pretty much never kill you, like ever. I don't think I've ever died from them. They're just terrible at getting headshots. Now right here, this is where you wanna head back in the ghost and get out of there. Usually you won't get plasma pistol, but since we're behind that rock, they just can't see you. There's no line of sight. Now right here, you have two options. You can continue forward in the ghost if you wanna take the hunters down uh, on foot, or you can head back and everything will have despawned and you can grab the gauss warthog and just sort of nade it over the barricade to come. But we're not going to do that because that takes a long time to wait. And you, you've probably seen other speedruns maybe if you search the YouTubes where people use the Gauss Warthog to take out the hunters. And it's a relatively safe method, but it's also relatively slow. So I'm going to show you the, the new faster way uh, that RC Master crazily did in his speedrun, which uh, was the last world record. Um, but he had blind on, so that's pretty cool too. But we're doing this for the challenges so you can see everything. So, okay, target designate right there. That's going to take out all these enemies coming at us. Pick up this health pack with that frag. 
really make sure you don't frag the ground next to the health pack. I did this mid run once. It was an incredible run and I died because the frag on the ground blew me up. Tried boosting the ghost over there, but didn't really care because it takes a while and uh, sometimes the elites stick you anyway. So I was like, screw it, I'll just go up on foot. But in hindsight, maybe I want to have used the ghost because check this out. I'm looking on the ground, I pick up this plasma pistol and I'm about to start annihilating this guy. Let's go, let's go. He has a lot of shields. He comes at me, keep backing up and he'll never hit you. He'll keep shooting you so you will eventually die but if you need some extra time just back up and he'll try to punch or do a kick and he'll miss unless you run into like a barricade which I almost did once and then you'll get slaughtered so right here I'm so close to dying I'm freaking out trying not to die trying to play a little more conservatively than usual if you put yourself on lower ground than him you'll notice he's throwing a lot of stickies that's due to the catch skull and so we use that to our advantage because I can get some shield or health without dying because if you completely avoid the plasma then of course you're not going to get hurt but I almost died there anyways thankfully I survived so right here gonna pick up that health pack and now here it is the hunters they're insane on lasso I don't know if you've ever played this difficulty they're like if elites are demigods then these guys are just gods they're so hard to kill it's not like Halo 1 where you could just pop one pistol shot in the back and they died no way so right here, first thing we want to do is take out these two grunts. They're standing in our way from the elite that we're going to go take out first so we don't get shot in the back when we're killing these hunters. So right here, run in here. Sometimes he doesn't even see, but you want him to punch you, go around him, and then back smack him. You'll have full shields again. It's not like you lost anything, and uh, it's the easiest way to take him out. So here we go, starting to shotgun this guy in the back. Now you got to be able to read these hunters. They have a couple moves. That You saw how he staggered there? That gives you extra time to shoot him. He has the back smack, which if you're not directly behind him, is actually pretty safe. Check that out. You can dodge it pretty easily. And then they have a few other moves where they hit you like to the right or to the left. So right here, uh, what you want to do is stay as close as possible and have him do the back smack. See, that's the sort of the, the arm smack that you want to avoid. And then right here, if you hit him up enough times then eventually he's gonna go down right check that out my marines assault rifle fire killed him that's how weak I got him and I don't think I could even replicate that that's such a sliver of health that the teammate the AI actually kills a hunter on lasso yeah so this elevator taking forever the door is gonna open on the side of that button right there and we're gonna sprint out immediately 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 we want to take out this guy just sprint at him he's kinda stupid you want him to punch you and then use his concussion. I almost jumped into that guy. Luckily, there's glass there. I'm right here, I don't know why I engaged this grunt. I could have just run right past him, but uh, anyway, he's gonna head down here and you can crouch through to get through early. Jump on June's head. No, maybe not. <laughs> he moved. Oh well, gonna use concussion to boost up. Check this out. One, two, three, and we're on the lower bridge. Don't have to worry about that fight downstairs. Don't have to worry about any of the enemies loading up in this area. We can just run right past. Don't have to worry about the fuel rod gun general across the way. Nope, we are free to run to the end of the mission. So right here, uh, I need shield. And so I'm going to hurt myself to lower my health so I can pick up a health pack, which is going to give me full shields. And right here, there's a couple jackals. And I'm going to use uh, the plasmas that I have instead of rockets because they're actually more powerful and can kill them in one hit. I could not believe this guy was still alive right here. Okay. So this phantom is going to drop off two spec ops elites, which are basically our last main threat on this mission. So I shoot a couple of rockets. Sometimes you can launch them off the edge or even a direct hit will kill them. I didn't get either of them, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to play a little hide and go seek with these guys. And <laughs> look at that Banshee just chilling there. Um, so right now, uh, I'm guessing that they're going to run this way because they usually like to hang out in this hallway. And what do you know? I eventually kill one of them and I thought I was going to die. That guy's chasing me, so I was like, oh my god, grab this health pack just to play it safe. You know, you're this far into the mission on a speed run, you really don't want to die. But uh, there are a couple places where you could improve this run, right? Of course, you could kill these guys faster, help a meal take out the Banshees and Phantom faster. You could take out that elite in the courtyard the second time around. That took me forever. I think it took me like 20 seconds to kill just that one elite because uh, I had such low shields and I didn't want to die. Um, in the beginning, I've actually had a lot of luck taking out 
the uh, elites. I had a target designator shot that took out two out of the three remaining elites. So I got done in one minute and one second. So you could also shave off a few seconds on that part. And then right here, this is come down to luck whether a, a meal is actually doing a good job. Sometimes he does, taking out all these little banshees. Sometimes he doesn't. But right here, luckily, as soon as the phantom went down, got a buttload of points, 12,000. And here we go. The end of the mission. Thank you, Emil. Happy birthday. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Subscribe to me for more Halo content. Check out some of these other videos. Thanks so much for watching.